Dear Eminency, esteemed ambassadors, members of the media, dear friends, and most of all, dear organizers, thank you for allowing me to speak at such a magnificent gathering. As my esteemed colleagues before me have already explained, thank you for developing this idea of a Europe that goes back to its roots. Charles University, Kafka, Kundera, Chopin, Liszt, Rubik, Klimt, Freud, Novak Djokovic, Milun Kasavic, Kusturica, Pupin, Milankovic. This is at least a partial picture of a Europe. The continent with the most painters, philosophers, but also Nobel laureates, physics, chemists, mathematicians. People who have risen above the ordinary and made, uh, and made an immeasurable contribution to the people, to Europe and the world in the field of interest. It was the creative energy of a perfect blend of advanced and the traditional, never retrograde and never backwards as we were taught in history of Europe nowadays. When Europe has, was united, we all felt that spirit of unity, warmth, cooperation, and we all felt that it was path we should take. That Europe has finally found a path that will overcome discussions, diversions, and arise on the basis of unity, the same values, the same culture. Today, however, it's a Europe of division, selflessness, migrants, some other important values, but different. More than ever, the picture of abducted Europe describes the struggle that we take place on European soil, European reality. If we read the history of the collapse of great civilizations, extinct empires and tradition, we immediately see the similarity with the barely living cities of Europe without a compass, without Santa Claus, Christmas or Easter. Everything becomes something in medium, vague, unknown. As in the past, socio-political crises and conflicts are realities of our time. The daily news is almost the same as in years when history was broken. World powers were playing with the lives and the honor of the citizens. The, sit, uh, the rich classes enjoy only the money in the mud of vulgar pleasures. Money has become the only measure, dishonorable standards for faith, love, and hope. The lowest and middle classes are threatened with salvation the only phrase that stands out is carpe diem, if, as we are predicting, the approach of catastrophe, ruin, and the collapse of the epoch. The forcibly imposed idea that salvation cannot be found anywhere else, that everything is over, does not give the adrenaline to escape and be saved, but that there is no salvation and to enjoy when we can. Uh, what will faith, love, and hope do for us when we count the last days before the war, before the famine, before the disasters? All the riders of the apocalypse are here. We glorify the body, not the spirit. Crisis of values always indicates the death of a society. If not today, then in the near future. And some new people and the new faith are coming from all sides to replace what made the lady out of Europe? The old one, but if it wasn't value, we wouldn't have demolished it. But God bring always good and blessing. Finally, the much needed internal rebellion is happening, the fire that will save the world. Decency, empathy, values, Christian values. The intellectual elite was not always on the side of salvation. Even today, we are faced with a fake elite that believes only in money money and power. But here people gather around on a common idea that ignite the spark that can preserve the traditional values of a healthy nationalism, protection of language, culture, and all with the absolute protection of all minorities. Our common interest would be greater than our differences, but we must also respect those differences. But if there is a spark here, then let them make a fire together with old faith and the new enthusiasm. While we had many times here that idea is primarily of a central Europe, Serbia, according to its cultural and historical heritage, as in modern times, Serbia has always been a part of the heart of the Europe. All through Serbia is a Balkan country. Its spirit is not chained by the boundaries of our peninsula, searching outside of our borders for trustful partners, 
the conclusion is obvious. Our natural allies from both political and spiritual perspective are nation of Central Europe. We have long established historical ties, but what is even more important, we have common interest to pursue if we want to secure our fruitful development in the future European political... Ah, 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 his fracture. Thank you.